this is Margaret Fetty from the University of Sewing at the Tailored Fit, and we want to welcome you to Facebook Live at the University of Sewing. Today, I told you we were going to have Heather Alexander, our resident expert on long arm quilting. And we thought what we would do is start off with introducing you to our lovely Q20 that is right here. And um, what we are going to do is go ahead and we are going to go ahead and introduce you to the Q20 because we also have a Q16 coming in. And this one is a bit bigger. And it's really funny because when people look at the Q16, they're like, well, how much can four inches be? Well, it's a lot. And we're even going to show you the difference between this Q20 and what we have on our long arm, which is a Q24. And Heather, you do this quilting all the time. And it probably is a good place for you to kind of, you know, chime in here. Does that four inches make much of a difference? I think it does. When you're doing your quilts as you advance them through, it gives you a little bit more space to make your designs bigger and to give you um, a bigger throat space to quilt out more at a time. If you want to just start out, the 20 is a great way to start out. Um, just getting used to it, and it will go on the frame over there eventually, and you, you can do any of the designs, but the 24 just gives you a little bit more room. Well, the Q20 is really interesting for those of you who have Bernina sewing machines. We're going to get in here and show you a little bit about the screen. It's very cool. It has a home screen, just like you would expect. So it has a place for you to go in for your quilting, your settings. It even has an eco mode, which will turn off the machine, but not turn, turn it completely down. It'll like turn off all the lights. So if you go to lunch or something and you don't want to lose your settings, they're all still here. It's got the manual in it. It's got a calculator in it, and it actually keeps track of your stitches. But the Q20, as it is put here, is set up for sit down quilting and so you have to move the quilt this one the head does not move on this table you have to move it now we also have on this just like you would expect there's a bobbin winder on it it also has tension settings it's got a foot up and down it has got settings for your Bernina stitch regulator and it also tells you when your bobbin thread is low and the bobbins that fit for this are right here. We carry them on a regular basis. We also have some specialty feet that will work with the sit-down model or the long arm quilting machine. And actually, they'll work on your home sewing machine too. We have the ruler foot, the number 72. We have the number 73, which is an open toed kind of foot, perfect for doing thread cleaning. We also have this wonderful cup version um, that can be used and it is a really great foot to use when you're quilting something that's got embroidery or maybe you've done some sort of uh, specialty work on that quilt. It will ride over top of those bumps and humps without any problems. Recently, we've received Amanda Murphy's uh, free motion quilt idea book and that might be something you're interested in. We're gonna be carrying more of Amanda Murphy's products. She's going to be introducing the Q16 when it comes out. Actually, you can find her videos on our Facebook page if you look. We also have ruler kits. Now, a lot of people think the ruler kits will only work based, it says one here for frame models and it says for sit down. That's not actually true. They both work for both of them. It is Bernina's uh, got a really nice ruler work rollers. They're pretty thick. You can't ride over top of them with your roller foot. You can use them on your home sewing machine. You can use them on your long arm. You can use them on your sit down version. They will all work. We also carry things for our long armors. Again, the bobbins. We carry Amanda Murphy rulers and we carry some uh, these are echo quilting discs for the ruler work. Uh, we also have a cup that will fit right on your 96 foot. So we've got a, pretty much everything that you need, but there are always new things coming out and we want you to know if we don't have it in the shop, don't hesitate. We're happy to order it for you. 
Now we're gonna go over to the long arm quilting machine. And for those of you who haven't gotten to see this, this is pretty cool. So let's go over here. And we're gonna just show you what it looks like without a quilt on it. And what's gonna be really fun today is Heather's gonna first show you some samples of the kind of work you can do on the Cube 24. And this is the biggest frame we have in the shop, so you can actually come in and see it. If you are interested in long arm quilting, we also have a mat that you can roll out in your house to see if this would fit in there. And notice that we have room all around the machine. If you're thinking about this, you have to have enough room to walk around the machine. Down at this end, notice it's hooked up to a computer. This is called the Qmatic. And this, of course, is our Q24. The 24 refers to the 24 inches from the head to the back of the machine. And I'm gonna let Heather take it from here. Thank you, Margaret. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about uh, long arming and some of the wonderful designs that you can do on the Cumatic. I will be coming down to the Tailored Fit once a month on the second Friday of every month so that I'll be available. If you're interested in learning more about the Cumatic, you can set up an appointment at any time that we can get together and I can demonstrate it for you. Or you can also um, bring a quilt here if you would like me to finish it for you, to do some long arming. This is a place that you can drop off and it can get delivered to me. And once it's completed, I can make sure that we get it back to you also. And on Fridays, when I'm here on the second Friday of the month, you can also meet me here and we can talk about your quilt and finishing it. When I come on Fridays, I have all of my quilt designs in, uh, stitched out in a variety of samples. I color coded them so you can kind of break down the different types of designs. The grays are swirls and loops, black is geometric, blue is flowers, I have leaves, winter, um, kind of novelty things, Christmas, Halloween, stars, hearts, a wide variety. Um, all of these designs can be stitched out on the Cumatic. They're not all available on the Cumatic, but you can go to different websites so that you can purchase the different pantographs, they're called, and then you can reuse them onto your uh, long arm machine. So it's kind of a nice way to build your library, and there's tons of different designs that you can choose uh, for your quilt. So the possibilities are endless. Um, today what I want to do to show you is I would like to load a quilt onto the long arm so you can kind of get an idea of how easy it is to get your quilt prepared and ready for long arming on the Bernina. And I also want to give you tips if you're someone who likes to send their quilts to long armers, what's the things you need to do to prepare your quilt so that it will be ready for quilting and that your long armor can get it done quite efficiently and easily. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to walk over here and I'm going to get my backing fabric and I'm going to show you um, what you need to do to load it onto the long arm. It's actually a pretty easy process. Uh, the first thing I always do when I receive backing fabrics is I give it a good press with my iron to make sure it's smooth and um, ready to go and I tend to just kind of lay it out onto the frame and this is the top bar here that we're going to load our back on. And what I do is I'm going to fold it in half because I want to find the center of my backing fabric. So I just finger press it so I get a little crease there. You can also add a pin in there if you're not sure where it's going to be. And I'm going to find the center of my leaders here. These are the canvas leaders that are going to hold my backing fabric on here. Bermina is really great because they have these really nice markings all the way across so it's really easy to see the center of your frame. Uh, this is the dark, darkest line here and that is the very center. So what I'm going to do then is I pin that center and then I'm just going to go across and pin the rest of my fabric in even increments. And Bernina put these lovely little markings on here so I can evenly pin it all the way across and it's really easy to see where to do it. You can also buy zippered leaders for your Bernina long arm. And these are really nice because you can just zip on and off the quilt. And so if you were working on something and you had to take it off because you weren't finished, maybe it was more of a custom quilt, you could just zip it right off and then you could put a different quilt on and then you could put it, zip it right back on at another date. 
So that's one of the advantages to the zipper leaders, but these ones work just fine also. When you go to prepare your backing for your long armor, a couple things to keep in mind, that it's always best to do a horizontal seam in your backing fabric if you can. Actually, if you can give them um, a wide back, such as 108 inch backing, that's really always the best, but those are a little bit harder to come by. So anytime you can add a horizontal seam across, those feed through the machine the very, very best. But some fabrics, they, have, they require a vertical seam because they might be a directional fabric. So that's okay too. Um, those feed through just fine also, but the horizontal is always the easiest. So now I'm gonna to go to the back of the machine so I can load the other side of my backing fabric. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna fold it in half and I'm gonna find the center of my backing. Just finger press it so that I can know exactly where my center is. I see the dark marking on here is where I'm going to pin that center. And I'm going to just do the exact same things I did on the front and I'm going to pin each spot incrementally across. I've also worked a lot with pieced backings. Sometimes we want to use up some old fabric and pieced backings work fine also. We don't have as much trouble putting them through the machine. So you can always do a pieced backing and sometimes very occasionally people want their quilt top centered on something in the back and that's a little trickier for a long armor. So we do our best to get it in the center of your backing, but you never know how the quilt is gonna stitch out, if the density of the design is gonna flatten it some more. So just know that that's a little trickier to get perfect, but I'm always willing to try something like that. So I'm gonna finish up my pinning. Cross. The great thing about long arming your quilts is you always get a very smooth and flat finish. And you don't have to worry about the puckers or folds in your backing fabric that sometimes happens when you do it on your domestic machine. All right, so now I'm gonna come around to the front and I'm gonna start to roll my backing fabric onto this front leader. And as I do it, I'm gonna go real slow. I'm gonna smooth my fabric as I go I want to try to make sure that my sides meet and that everything lays nice and flat. If everything goes well, it should load on here no problem. I'm going to go nice and smooth. Sometimes that center seam, if you have a vertical seam, that pulls a little tight in the middle, which is always why the horizontal is best, but the vertical still will work through just fine. I continue to smooth as I go. One thing else I forgot to mention is when you prepare your backing, a long armor always needs three to four inches on all four sides bigger than the quilt top. This gives us lots of room to make sure that our edge to edge design will go right off the quilt top and it will go onto the sides. So you wanna make sure that your backing fabric is bigger. Now that I made it to the end, I'm gonna pull it tight. And as you can see, my backing fabric is nice and smooth in here. Bernina recommends uh, to check for tightness that you can put your finger under here and you can grab to your first knuckle. And that means that you're about the right tautness for your backing fabric. Once I have this prepared, I'm gonna get my batting fabric, or my batting layer, and I'm going to lay it across my batting backing. And the batting also needs to be three to four inches bigger than your quilt top on all four sides. It's okay to always be even bigger than your bat, your top, but you don't want to make it too small because that makes it a little tricky to get it loaded through there to make sure it all comes out just fine. So I'm going to load that on there. I'm going to tuck this behind my top bar just to get it out of the way and I'm going to make sure it's nice and smooth. Next, I'm going to take a basting stitch and what I'm going to do is just create 
a line right across the top of my batting, kind of my reference line of where I'm going to load my quilt top. And as you can see, my canvas leaders come down below my bar here so that I can kind of see and um, that will be my space for my quilting. So I'm going to use the BSR3, which is my basting stitch, and I'm just going to go ahead program buttons are. <laughs> I don't know which one is there. There we go. Alright, I'm going to take my reference line right across the top here. And this is where I'm going to line up my quilt top. I notice I'm about an inch, inch and a half below my leaders because when I stitch out my design, I don't want to stitch onto my leaders. I need some room. Do you have some scissors? Mm -hmm. So once I get to the end of that, I'm gonna just snip it off. Thank you. And I will be ready for my quilt top. Today, my quilt top is not very big, so I am not loading my quilt top so I am going to float my top today because it's not big and as I uh, feed it through my machine it makes it easy for me to adjust my top and my batting as it goes through. A lot of times with a bigger top it's better to load the top onto this bar as it goes through to make sure that it's even and it'll come out nice and straight at the bottom. So once I'm finished putting that on there I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take a basting stitch. Let's see if I can find it again. And I'm going to base across the top and just have it lined up right on that reference line that I did with the batting. And this cup foot is super great across a quilt because it will make sure that it doesn't get caught on anything. It'll glide right across your quilt top, which is why I like to use this one. Then once I get to the end, I'm going to go down the side and I'm going to do this side all the way to the end and I'm going to cut it off and then I'm going to come back over to this side and I'm going to do the other side and this enables it so that when my design is being stitched out and it's going to go across I'm not going to get anything caught and it'll glide right over the edges and my fabric won't get caught in there and I won't have any trouble um, with my machine stitches going right across the top. So it's really important to baste it on all the sides. Even as you advance the quilt, you will baste it down the sides also. So my quilt is all prepared. I have everything ready with my quilt top. And next up, I would be ready to prepare my designs for quilting and get it ready to stitch out. So that is how you load your quilt right onto the Bernina frame. It's pretty simple. And as it feeds through the whole machine, you'll have a nice flat sandwich with no puckers or um, folds in your backing fabric and everything will come out smooth and nice. So, um, you make it look so easy, oh, thank Heather. You. It's fantastic. I love how the Bernina, the, the way the frame is set up, that you do each piece one at a time, and it's so easy to make it straight and square, and I know your quilt's going to come out even more stunning than the piece it is. <laughs> I love it. It's beautiful. Thank you. And the Bernina does make it really easy, and the more you do it, the faster you get, so the process really goes pretty quickly. It doesn't take too long. You sure made it look simple this morning. <laughs> thank you. So today... I want to finish up everything by letting everyone know that Heather has her own long arm quilting services. She's been, has quilted over 400 quilts. And we have her contact information, so if you don't get it here, that's fine. Um, you can always call us. Our phone number is 812-323-2665. Our website is theuniversityofsewing.com. So what I really am wanting to finish up with here is to let everybody know what the coupon of the week is. 
there's always a coupon of the week and so what is the coupon this week well this week we had decided to offer everyone a 25 percent discount on a purchase you don't have to buy anything else you just have to use the coupon code 25 mine 25 two five m i n e and that is it that's all there is to that coupon so i'll put it in the the uh, uh the comments in the bottom of the facebook page of, on where this video is at i'll put that in there so that you can have it there and you can just copy it and paste it but go to our website or come in either one will work and anything you want to buy in the shop with the exception of our bernina sewing machines and um, our Bernina accessories. Anything you want to buy for 25% off, you can get it. So have a great day, everybody. Thanks for joining us on Facebook Live. Thank you.